awesome so i've got a new tire that i can grow potatoes in and these days we're all looking to use new products and reuse and recycle them because we're all conscious of the environment so it's okay for me to grow potatoes in this tire isn't it I'm Tony O'Neill and this is Simplified Gardening where I show you how to garden in a simpler way. If you want that perfect garden to relax in or just want to grow your own nutrient dense foods then start now by clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon. Then click all to be notified each time I release new content just like this. Many of you may be growing potatoes in tyres this year and this is one of the questions that I was recently asked. And I knew what I believed, but I decided to look into it a little bit further. And this is what I found. So unlike a lot of other videos, I'm gonna give you the short answer. So is it safe to grow potatoes in tires? Well, that answer, in my opinion, is no. But I'm gonna explain why as we go through this video now. Don't go just yet, because this is only my opinion. And I wanna give you some of the facts so that you can decide for yourself. Look, we all know that tyres are made up of all different rubbers and chemicals, but are those chemicals actually dangerous? Do they contaminate the foods that we want to eat? So that's what I delved into and what I'm going to share with you in this video. So in order to understand what's going on, we first need to understand the makeup of the tyre. So I contacted some various manufacturers of tyres and asked them for their safety data sheets. And I was amazed at what I found. A typical tyre is made up from synthetic rubbers and polymers that are made from petroleum. And then sulfur is added to vulcanize this rubber. Lead compounds are added as a stabilizer and zinc oxide are added as a catalyst. Carbon blacks are added as a filler and as a UV stabilizer, while microplastics are added in order to harden the rubbers. And then oils are added to make the rubbers more malleable so that they can form the tires. And then other stabilizing chemicals are added, such as styrene, benzene and butamine. Pythalates, polycrylic, aromatic hydrocarbons and pythrolates are all added. For the six chemicals just mentioned, I asked the companies for the safety material data sheets um, so that I could see what was in them and what they were. And this is what I found. And most but not all can cause some of the following issues if there's a big enough exposure. Number one, it may cause cancer. Number two, it can cause serious eye damage. Number three, it can cause skin irritation. Number four, it's fatal if swallowed. And number five, this can cause um, organ failure over prolonged use. Now, let's go back to the lead that we mentioned earlier. Now, a study that I was able to find on the internet and you can find it yourself just by uh, looking for it. I might even put a link in the description below. It found that um, there was 1160 parts per million on, uh, of lead in the ground of an illegal tire dump. Now this is something to seriously consider because of the prolonged breakdown and the degradation of those tyres is likely to what's actually caused the lead in the soils when they were tested. And zinc can be toxic to humans but in my research um, this is not as serious as the lead because um, if you discontinue eating the produce from the infected area then the body can metabolize that zinc and um, it can return back to normal but um, it can be toxic to bodies if you're consuming zinc too if you're learning something and getting some value out of this video so far i'd really appreciate it if you went down below and click that subscribe button so that you can get future content when i release it now in a recent study that uh, took into consideration tires that were ground up as a mulch or um, was used in like a play area or something like that they found that zinc was present in the soils 
and it also deemed that if these tires were used as a mulch in the garden or um, they were breaking down in the garden you were using them to grow food in they deemed that the zinc itself wouldn't be an issue because of the high levels of zinc that's required to cause humans a problem now we all know that tires degrade over time and the amount of degradation is really important to understand because this will tell us how much leaching is happening into our soil and this can be sped up by using fertilizers and feeds and things that we typically use when we're gardening so that is another important factor to take into consideration and the weather can play a part in the degradation of the tires too because the thawing and freezing can help break the tires down and release microplastics into your soils over two dozen studies have recently been run looking into the potential health risks of people when growing food in tires and while these studies have been inconclusive some doctors and toxologists uh, believe that they are insufficient to establish whether or not the body is absorbing these chemicals and toxins and whether they are harmful to us as human beings with over 300 different manufacturers in the world each having their own makeup when it comes to tires i couldn't possibly cover them all in this video but for me a tire is a tire it's made up of harmful chemicals and compounds that we just don't understand fully and a lot of them are carcinogens i strive to be organic in the garden i grow my own food to be able to control what my family are eating to be healthier and safer over any foods that I could buy in the stores. You wouldn't see me pouring glycelphate all over my garden, so why on earth would I use tyres that are leaching these chemicals into my soil? Now, I totally appreciate that not everybody is of the same opinion as me and that they have no problems using chemicals. Now, with a lot of studies being inconclusive on whether or not these tyres are dangerous for us to grow food in, I'm erring on the side of caution because I don't fancy my children becoming a statistic uh, in future years. When you look back in time, we've made plenty of mistakes when we thought something was okay. Take cigarettes, for example. 40 or 50 years ago everybody was smoking and they thought it was fine and there was no problems with them and now 40 and 50 years later there are loads of people suffering with the effects from smoking so why would this be any different now if you decide to use tires after seeing this video to grow food then here's a few tips to help you remain a little bit safer only use tires for two or three years maximum then you could also reduce the uh, speed of the breakdown by taking those tires inside in winter to stop the thawing and freezing process also you could think about lifting that tire off the ground and placing it on a pallet and that way it's not in contact with the soil and a fourth and last way would be to consider growing flowers in them instead of vegetables and keep your family safe so what's your thoughts on growing potatoes or other vegetables in tires let me know in the comments below if you've got value from this video you can subscribe here and if you want to learn to grow potatoes in a safer and healthier way then this is the next video you should watch I'm Tony O'Neill, this is Simplified Gardening where I show you how to garden in a simpler way. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.